Daddy, have you seen my ball anywhere? For a second, I thought I was back in Scotland, but not really. No, this is Grand Cyprus, a beautiful resort right outside Orlando in Florida. The traveling golfer is here to experience 45 holes of Jack Nicklaus. This is the new course, Jack's tribute to St. Andrews, thus the confusion. The rest of the property, all right, doesn't look quite like Scotland, but believe me, it's a treat for the senses. Great accommodations, incredible food and beverage, right near everything that Orlando has to offer, and we bring it all to you. The traveling golfer on another great trip, this one from Grand Cypress Resort in Orlando. If you find yourself doing strange things to keep your light beer from getting lost in the crowd, it's time to rethink your light beer. 99 calories, 100% authentic lager. The light beer that stands out in a crowd, Yingling Light Lager from America's oldest brewery. Rethink your light beer. Well, this is where it all begins. First tee, the South Course. Director of Golf Joe Angelino sends thousands of players off this tee every year, and that's the start of the Grand Cypress Golf Experience. Joe, what is that experience all about? Well, Tony, we have 45 holes of Jack Nicklaus Signature Golf here at the resort. We have the north, the south, the east nines, and we have the new course. The north nine, you'll find more terrace fairways, small, heavily penalized greens. The south nine, you're gonna find a bunch of water, some elevation changes as far as uh, elevated greens, and then you're gonna get over the east nine, you're gonna find water and woods. We can make a triple cross off the north, south, and east to make three different 18 hole golf experiences. But in 88, mm -hmm. the golf landscape in Orlando took a marked change and one for the good. Absolutely. Uh, that's the year that uh, Mr. Nicholas designed and opened the new course, which is his tribute to St. Andrews, the old course. Totally different golf experience than you can get anywhere in Central Florida. You have a couple replica holes, one in 18 are replica holes of the famed start hole and finishing hole at St. Andrews. 18 complete with the Valley of Sin in the front left corner of the green. We have 150 pot bunkers. We have old stone bridges out there on the golf course going over our, Mr. Nicholas's version of the burn. And then uh, we even have Mr. Nicholas's version of 17, the road hole, except for the road and the bunker going on opposite sides of the green. This is our version of the road hole at St. Andrews. And unfortunately, Tony's found himself in a tough spot. What am I gonna do here, Joe? You're gonna have to use a little creativity. Now, Joe, for some people, the old course at St. Andrews is an acquired taste that they build a love for over the mm -hmm. years. Is that the same type of thing here? The more people play it, the more they love it? Absolutely. You know, the great thing about the new course is, you know, just like St. Andrews, there's 14 common greens, meaning 14 greens uh, that are sharing two holes at the same time. Uh, and all those shared greens add up to 18, just like St. Andrews. The golf experience on the new course is, is so much so like that of the old course at St. Andrews that the year that Marco O'Mara won the British Open, he and Tiger Woods actually came out here and played a practice round on the new course before they flew overseas. And later on that day, Marco O'Mara returned the golf cart uh, back down to the bag room, and the boys in the bag room asked him, how'd you play? He said, I shot 63 and lost. You can handle any, any, anywhere from your uh, individual golfer that's coming down as a, as a husband and wife, a foursome, buddy packages, 16, 20, 24 golfers or more but we actually can run tournaments all the way up to a 450 man shotgun, which we've done before. Wow, 450 at one time. Even the traveling golfer can't comprehend that one. At the clubhouse, we have the club, which is a three meal a day restaurant. It's a sports bar theme, uh, casual attire. And then we also have our dinner only restaurant called 918, 18 time four diamond award winning restaurant. Now, Joe, the stay and play experience at Grand Cypress is really a full experience but it's a little different from what a lot of people might think about when they think of a hotel 
although you did get the hotel award. We did, and we're very proud about that, Tony. You know, we, we don't have a traditional big box hotel. We have 146 golf villas rated in TripAdvisor by the Traveler's Choice Awards. We're number 25 in the country for luxury, but number one in the Orlando market, and that's 300, over 360 hotels in this market. Well, there you go. You can come to Grand Cypress, visit the Valley of Sin, uh, bring a scorecard so you can explain that to your wives when you go home, guys, but at least you get <laughs> wording down. The Valley of Sin right here, the new course at Grand Cypress. Tech Talk, new products from TaylorMade. The international network of golf brings the media and the business side of golf together. And on demo day, you get to try all the new toys. Josh Van Winkle from TaylorMade Golf has the newest toy in the iron world. Tell us about it. Yeah, we're looking at SLDR iron, our brand new iron for the uh, summer season. What it has here is a combination of just beautiful craftsmanship is what we really want to put into it and also a new speed pocket with through slot technology. So we've improved on our speed pocket and the sole of the club where it actually cuts through giving the golfer higher launch, more distance and more consistent speed across the face. Wow, speed, we can all use that in our game of golf. Tom Alex, superintendent at Grand Cypress. He's new to all of this. You've only been around here since? June of 1983. Ah, from the very beginning, he knows every blade of grass on the property intimately. Uh, that means, though, that you got to work hand in hand with Jack Nicholas as this was being built. Sure did. Started my first visit with Jack was 1983. I think it was uh, June of that year when I first met Jack. And um, and have worked with them all the way up through until uh, last uh, spring when Jack came back to redesign a couple a couple golf holes for us. So 1983 you're out here with them, 2013 you're out here building three new golf holes and this is part of a little bit of an expansion here? Yeah, we, we actually acquired some property so we were able to move three golf holes so we can uh, uh, make room for some development property uh, where the old golf holes were. Great, great. And this is one of them right here. Yeah, this is number eight south. This is a little par three, about 190 yards from the back tees. A little risk and reward, especially with today's pin. So what was it like working with Jack? I mean, I guess you pretty much told him what to do all day and he, he did it? Not quite. Okay. Not quite. When Jack comes to design your golf course, you know Jack's in charge. And it is Jack's design, especially on the signatures, the uh, signature designs that Jack does. And uh, uh, we had a great time working with Jack. And he, you say he actually, when he comes to work, he comes to work. Absolutely. There's no messing around. Uh, and on these three golf holes that we built last summer, Jack was jumping in and out of green wells, all up over tees, fairways, bunkers. Absolutely. He goes to work. 18 holes, the north and south nines, mm -hmm. to 27 holes with the addition of the east course and the academy, and then the 45 holes with the addition of the new course. And even though it was the same piece of property, totally different. Yeah, that's the one unique thing that we have going for us here at Grand Cypress in that you can play 27 holes, the north, south, and east in a combination, and then you can go play our new course. They're totally and separate golf destinations on the same property. It's pretty cool. So Jack created the elevations by mounding and pushing some of the greens up in the air? Absolutely. This was a flat piece of property when they started, being an old orange grove. I think from here to the new course, we had an elevation change of about six inches. So between Jack and the design team, uh, they did a masterful job of contouring all the mounds, the greens, the elevations, bunkers. Now, Tom, you have, just as Jack likes to tweak the designs, you've been tweaking the agronomy here. The north and south courses have been regrassed with Mini Verde? Yeah, we, we put Mini Verde on the greens in 2007 to 2008 as we upgraded the facilities, and it's been a wonderful grass so far. And I'll tell you, they roll absolutely great, no question about it. Well, that's, that's good to hear. The new course. Mm -hmm. How much were they able to take a piece of property that was an orange grove in tropical Florida and make it look like St. Andrews in Scotland. Jack came up with that concept after owner's direction of they wanted an open meadow-like golf course with very little water to come and play. And having no elevation really on the property to speak of, Jack and his team created a Linksy style St. Andrews knockoff. How about the vegetation though? 
Well, we, we, we actually had pictures taken uh, by one of the design associates back in the day who went over and visited St. Andrews prior to the uh, construction. And then we tried to mimic some of that vegetation. So what did you use to mimic the gorse? Well, actually we used a Fitzer juniper, one that gets really big. We also used some Texas sage and we've, we've now let some native lantana grow. All different textures and all a little bit different colors. I'm with Renee Gergen, golf sales manager here at Grand Cypress. We're sitting on one of the back patios of the beautiful villas. And Renee, I think you've got the easiest job in the entire golf industry, convincing people to come here. I heard that there had been a bit of a renovation in the villas here, but when I walked inside, wow, a little renovation. Exactly, the rooms were completely redone approximately a year ago. We spent roughly $100,000 per room. Everything was thought of, including the natural tones and surfaces. We have stacked stone in the bathrooms and the bedrooms and carries throughout the unit. The bathroom itself is personally my favorite part. <laughs> There's a um, TV in the mirror, which still every time I walk in, you just is amazing and the shower is a stacked shower with jets for a full body shower i've heard people can't get out of the shower it's that comforting and relaxing the size of these rooms is incredible and that's important especially when you're on a trip with a number of people you don't want to feel crowded these villas are perfect and made for golf buddy groups our four bedroom villa houses up to eight people so perfect for two foursomes you have a fully equipped kitchen, living room, dining room area with a poker table. It's really a dining room table, but perfect for <laughs> eight people to sit around and play a hand of poker. All lining our first three holes of our north course. So yeah. beautiful views from the patios as well. Yeah, and you can go right out the back door fishing. We've got fishing poles available at the front desk along with bait so that you can come out and play, um, go fishing if you haven't had enough during the day playing golf. So it's wonderful. Yeah, and the villas are available. You have the four bedroom units, but mm -hmm. you also have three, two, and one. We have the largest standard room in Central Florida. So just about anything great for a couple, great for a family to come out here. Exactly, we're so close to all the attractions in Orlando as well. So you can play some golf in the morning with the family and then head out to the parks or even just stay here. All the villas surround our resort pool so you can just lay out and enjoy the Florida sunshine. And with all of this luxury, there's also luxurious service too. Exactly, Tony. We have 24-hour on-demand shuttle service that'll pick you up right at your villa. So if you're running late for your tea time, they'll take you right to the clubhouse. You can join your group. We also have all of our employees have such a can-do attitude that no matter where you go on property, you'll be smiled at, waved to, just like you're at home like you're a guest here every single day. And it starts right at check-in when they offer you a cocktail as you're signing up for your room. Can't get any better than that. We have Fred Griffin, director of the Golf Academy at Grand Cypress. Talk about teacher of teachers. You've brought instructors in from all over and taught them how to teach in your how many years here at Grand Cypress? Well, Tony, it'll be coming up on 29 years in, in uh, October. Amazing, and you and your staff have, well, taught a lot of famous people here. We have, it was kind of um, funny. The first school I did, and we opened in 1986, had six people in the first class. Phil Rogers and I were teaching it together, Who? You know, I've taught with Phil for 20 years, and we didn't really notice the schedule that much as who was in it. One person was signed up as William Murray. We meet him the first day, and it's actually the Bill Murray. So he was in the class. And also with him was Tom and Dick Smothers. We had Bill Murray, Tom and Dick Smothers, and three other people. So Imagine those lucky it was, three uh, people. It was, or unlucky. Uh, right. <laughs> it was an amazing three days, and, and each day progressively, Bill was later each day. So we were almost intent on making him run laps by the third day because he was over two hours late to get to class. Well, I, I'm sure that uh, there one thing, I'm sure you covered all the important things, driving, chipping, putting, golf course etiquette, that 
was not covered with Bill Murray? Well, you know, it's surprising when you play with Bill. Because he's been back six or seven times, but, you know, when I go to play with him, he's like, he's all about, let's play it the right way. If you hit it in the water, you take the right drop. You know, you don't just throw another ball down. So he was, you know, he has a great respect for the game of golf. But it's not just for celebrities here, right, Fred? Well, we, you know, we have all, all levels that come here. So it's a big variance there in skill level, but we can individualize our attention and our instruction to that skill level and get them the, the things that they need to improve at whatever their pace is and whatever level they're at. The facility itself is quite amazing. You have just about everything you could need here from short game areas, the huge driving range, the covered. There's not anything really comparable to it much around the country, and that's why we you know, we have a membership here and 40 to 50 of our members are either tour professionals or web.com or LPGA because it is such a unique practice area. Most facilities that, that have golf schools, they use a borrowed part of the main range where the regular guests play. Well, Grand Cypress built a dedicated 21 acre facility away from everything else with three practice holes. So when you come over here, you feel like you're, hey, this is a great environment to learn in, and you're really motivated to want to work on your game and get better. And Fred, you also have the TaylorMade Performance Center here, and for anybody that doesn't know what that is, right. a short description. They fit clubs specifically for TaylorMade, so get in front of more everybody else when your clubs are being built. You'll do a 3D biomechanics of your swing and look at all of that data and say, with that swing and how you deliver the club to the ball and the way your body moves, this is the club that's gonna help you perform better. You'll feel like a star. All of this right here at the Golf Academy at Grand Cypress. I'm here with my old golf buddy at Grand Cypress. Yeah, not quite Jack Nicholas. Jack built the course. A golf buddy with a classic finish, sort of like the finish you see out here on this 45 holes of wonderful golf. A little bit different, a little unique, but the highest golf experience you can find in the entire Central Florida area. Great accommodations, incredible food, wonderful service. Hard to say goodbye to my buddy and all the friends I've met here, but believe me, you'll love to come to Grand Cypress, and you'll feel the same way I do. Sorry to say goodbye. That's the word from the traveling golfer. Tony Leodora's golf wardrobe, courtesy of Antigua, the leader in modern golf apparel.